Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fractions, specifically how we can compose and decompose them, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a very simple fraction here. This is something that we started looking at in first and second grade. This is 3 fourths. But what we need to start looking at is how we can show this quantity, 3 fourths, as a sum of its component parts how we can decompose it and break it down. So first let's start with looking at how we can break this down into unit fractions. So let me slowly build this up right here. If I want to build 3 fourths, if I wanted to do it from scratch, what I would do is I would do it like this, and I would shade in one at a time. And so I would do 1 fourth, and then I would do another 1 fourth, and then I would do this last one fourth, and I would get my three fourths. And so what we need to see is that these two expressions are the same. Three fourths is the same as one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. Here's the strange thing about adding fractions. First, you can't add fractions. You'll learn this in fourth grade and fifth grade. You can't add fractions unless the denominator is the same. So all of these denominators are 4, so that's good. But when you do add fractions, you only add the numerators. 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. We didn't make 3 twelfths. That doesn't look right because we didn't change the fraction. We just changed it as fourth. So when you're adding fractions, you only add the numerators. You keep the denominator the same. Another way you could make 3 fourths would be like this. You could shade in two at a time like this, and then let's shade in that down there. So what you could do is you can say two-fourths plus one-fourth. So any of these combinations make three-fourths. Let's look at another example. Now we're going to start with a string of fractions. In this case, we are adding one-eight. Uh, to itself multiple times, and we're going to see if we can find what fraction this represents. So what I'm going to do to keep track of this is I'm going to draw myself a circle, and I'm going to cut it into eighths, since that seems to be our denominator here. And so we just cut it into fourths, cut each fourth into half. Now I've got eighths. And so I could just keep track of each of these eighths. I'm just going to shade in one of these eighths, and I'm going to use this picture to kind of help me figure out what the answer is. I'll show you a shortcut after that. Let's do it the long way first. So I've got 3 eighths so far. 4 eighths. Now I've got half of it filled in right here. And this 4 eighths right here is the same as half of it. And then I've got 5 eighths, 6 eighths. You know what it looks like? I'm going to be shading in the entire thing. That's interesting. Yeah, it looks like I've got every single one of these little slivers all shaded in. So, how can I represent this fraction? Well, let's count. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, my numerator is going to be 8, and my denominator, remember, is 8. So, I actually just shaded in the whole thing. 8 eighths is the same as a whole. How can we do that without drawing? Well, remember when we're adding fractions, first rule, the denominator has to be the same. So that's a check. Second rule, you don't add the denominator. The denominator stays the same again. It's the numerator only that you add. So we could have just added 1 plus 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 1. We would have gotten our 8. What we don't want to do is add all of those 8s to make 8 64. So that wouldn't make any sense. Let's look at one final example. One final problem. We're going to do it without drawing pictures. 71 hundredths equals 27 hundredths plus 13 hundredths plus a mystery number. Well, I know one thing right away about my mystery number. It needs to have the same denominator as everything else, so it's going to have a denominator of 100. So 27 plus 13 plus what makes 71? Well, let me add my 27 and my 13 see what I get. So that is going to be 40. And take that away from 71, see how far away I am? 31. So it looks like my answer is going to be 31 hundredths. That would go in this missing spot